Top of the week, man. Doing good? Doing well. Good. Good stuff, man. Let's uh, jump right into it. Um, Spotify recently removed Neil Young's music over Joe Rogan dispute. Now, uh, it said in a recent article that uh, this whole ordeal might have cost Spotify $2 billion. Um, Neil Young removing his catalog and the whole reason he did it was because of Joe Rogan's uh, supposed spread of misinformation, which he has constantly come under criticism from medical professionals and you know political leaders and all different types of stuff. But this move that Neil Young made uh, is, is apparently getting a lot of support from a lot of the people who, uh, I guess, side with Neil Young. And uh, uh, hashtag Bye Bye Spotify has been trending on uh, Twitter. Um, a lot of people are saying, hey, Spotify is just going to choose profit over um, real information. And so we're going to just transfer our accounts to another music platform. And then that's just what's going to what it's going to be. And so uh, it seems like this is a pretty costly move for Spotify. But I'm interested in hearing what you have to say about it. What would you have done in this inf- in this uh, predicament? So firstly, the uh, where they're getting the two billion dollars, right? Where are they they getting that from? Mm-hmm. Um, they're certainly not saying that's how many users left the platform. So that'd be, mm-hmm. um, you know, I I haven't seen exactly how they're grabbing that statistics. Mm-hmm. It could be that they said that the market cap went down yeah. by that much, which mm-hmm. is not all that rare, especially uh-huh. in. This last month, have you been looking at the market? Um, we said this. You guys can go back, listen to the prior episodes about what I said about Spotify stock. That was before all this. It had nothing to do with with any of this. Um, but people will just try to spin it to fit their narrative mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is what they'll do. So Spotify stock would be going down because they're not innovating. Mm. That <laughs> That's why the decline happens. <laughs> it's, it's not because of Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has brought them business. Right. Um, Neil Young really doesn't bring them all that much business. <laughs> I was be, wondering, I'm like, if we're going to be real about it, no, he yeah. doesn't. Um, this happens because people don't have, um, like, I don't want to say people don't have real problems. Um, people have real problems, but they they find the need to make up more problems for their life because maybe they're not doing something significant enough. Mm, wow. uh, so. You can't just say that anything anybody doesn't like anything anybody says that I don't like is misinformation. Yeah. Or anything anybody says that I don't like is dangerous. Right. Or anybody who says anything I don't like is Hitler. Like this is <laughs> just ridiculous at this point. Yeah. If you it's almost like a cop out, an intellectual cop out for people mm. if they are wrong, explain why they're wrong. Mm. Don't use a buzzword. Mm-hmm. Um, and it might be that people do not think critically mm-hmm. about things. Therefore, they see somebody else screaming about something. So they just they scream, too, mm-hmm. because they see that it works for a lot of corporations. They they'd rather just be out of the headline or sometimes they're run by professional CEOs. Mm-hmm. They're not run by founder CEOs. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times when something's run by a founder CEO. Those are the dudes you typically hear say like, yeah, this is what we're doing. If you guys don't like it, you know, they'll explain why they're doing something. Right. But like they don't they don't have to cower to everybody, right. especially if you get to a certain point of, you know, um, financial freedom. Right. That's usually when you really hear people just say in their minds, just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, can't get nobody control me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Rogan, even if you don't like what he says, I would just challenge people. One, he's not really even giving out advice. Right. He's talking to people who are giving out advice. Mm-hmm. Some of which are like, I can't really say whether they're saying something false or not, to be yeah. honest with you. Uh-huh. I I don't know. Mm-hmm. I can look at data. Um, apparently, I can look at data a lot better than a lot of doctors or you know news heads or whatever. Um, but... Other than that, like if you just don't like what somebody has to say, um, it, it really is not like the dude was telling people to go look at child porn or right. something. That's like right. That. Look, exactly. I get that. Right. Um, but he 
from from what I can gather, I did listen. I haven't listened to all of them. I listened to the full one with Robert Malone, mm-hmm. um, and I forget the other doctor's name, but really wasn't though i say the one the other doctor besides robert malone might have said some more outlandish things that i'd have to go check on uh, i don't know if outlandish is even the right word i just have to check on the accuracy of them with robert malone i really didn't hear anything that was like yeah. crazy off base um it was pretty widely known information yeah um he's just not repeating the same narrative that everybody else is repeating he's really not like this this fringe guy or whatever you want to paint him as. Yeah. He was very logical in his responses. Um, sounds like somebody I'd, I'd actually want to go ask questions to. Right. Uh, be, because you, it's not because they tell you what you want to hear. It's you just tell me, just give it to me straight. You know, like people used to say, give it to me straight doc. <laughs> like, right, I right, just want, right. I want to know what's up right now. It's, it's almost like the people who were vehemently against Big Pharma in 2019 are like rabidly yeah. on on any narrative that is is pushed by Big Pharma, which right. is so odd. Yeah, 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 it is so odd. Yeah, to me, uh, it just shows that people, if they just get a narrative and you don't really have any other foundation for yeah. yourself, like you're you're just swayed with the wind. Hundred percent. Um. So I, I really don't see anything wrong with what Rogan said. And um, everybody else has the freedom to leave if they want to leave. I'm not. Look, you can choose your service. Yep. That's called a free market. If yep. you want to go listen to Apple Music, um, you you can absolutely go do that or SoundCloud or Audius or whatever. Um Somebody just has to ask themselves, like, did I actually even listen to any? (laughs) Did I actually even listen to a Joe Rogan episode? Or am I just that much, like, is my political party my religion, uh, essentially? Um, So for a lot of people, it is because they they have no grounding in God. And that's on a lot of sides. That's not just people on the left. That's people on the right, people in the middle. If You will worship something. I'll tell you that. Uh, so if you are not worshiping God, you will worship something and you will have your ultimate allegiance, worship, ultimate allegiance to something. Uh, so I would encourage you to try to find as many true things as possible, regardless of how you feel about them, uh, and believe as little lies as possible. That should be your objective. Your objective is not. I just want to be happy all the time right. because then you'll make up whatever lie makes you happy. Right, right, right. Uh, so this is not my analysis on vaccines or we, this is just the analysis on what was actually said. Right. Um, and do I really have any qualifications to to debate um, what was said? Yes, on the data side. No, on the... Um, you know, what's actually in said vaccines. Right. Uh, so that's my take on it. Um, well, let me ask you this question real quick. And this is on behalf of artists with a bunch of influence. So Neil Young made a statement when he decided to pull his catalog off of Spotify. Do you think his statement would have been louder had he just used his platforms to simply speak up against, I guess, some of the misinformation that they feel like they're allowing Joe Rogan to spread? Um, versus him just pulling his catalog off of Spotify. What do you think about that move that he made? Um, I, I think the way he did it, it made, made the loudest thing. Okay. Like the, it, it wasn't, like I said, people can do what they want to do. Um, to me, at a certain point, you're... You're splitting hairs mm-hmm. um, because let's say that this was the other way around. Like every everybody who uh, had an adverse event from a vaccination and th- they, they say that if Spotify doesn't take down this podcast from this person, I'm Out. leaving. Yeah. Like at a certain point, you have to stop being a baby. Yeah. Like you're, you're grown men right, and, right. and women. Why are you 
You're shouting and throwing a tantrum <laughs> like you're a child. Right. Seriously. Yeah. What is? Do people have no critical thinking ability anymore at all? Yeah. I know I'm not the most emotional person. I get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But at a certain point, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Mm. I can't go and cancel. And I've talked about this before with, um, I use the example of a Muslim business owner. Uh, and let's say somebody wants him to, I don't know, write a dedication letter mm -hmm. and they're a homosexual couple. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he can't do that. He's not going to, like, if there's some uh, Muslim man and they want him to be the officiant of a wedding yeah. and he actually adheres to, to Islam, he's not going to do it. Yeah, it doesn't make him a a phobe or whatever buzzword people want to make up now. Um, phobia actually means fear of something. Doesn't right. mean that you disagree with something. Right. Uh, so is it that the the Muslim man is a homophobe, or is it that the homophobe they go and try to cancel this guy and get all of his business taken away from him? Are, are they Islamophobic? Right. So. At a certain point, you can't just say anybody who does anything that I disagree with, I'm not going to buy your loaf of bread at Walmart. Right. And in fact, if Walmart sells it, I'm not going to shop at Walmart. <laughs> and in fact, if this truck driver delivers to Walmart, <laughs> I'm not going to go support this trucking business. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's just like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. If if you're just going to go down the line of every single thing. Right. You can literally do nothing. Right. You can't go to the store. You can't go buy food. You can't go get gas. Yep. You can't go put on your clothes. Yep. Because guess where they were made Probably. and who made them? Yep. Like, if you really want to live that way, just be consistent. That's all I'm saying. So <laughs> go sit in sit in a field somewhere that's not owned by any country. <laughs> because whatever country owns... You know, the land, right. whatever person owns the lands, they've done something you disagree with. Right. right, right. Uh, so, like I said, if no, there are tears to it. Somebody can try to make the argument that, um, you know, there's there's levels to things. Yeah. yeah. I'd say, personally, that, it, like I said, if Joe Rogan actually said something egregious, mm -hmm. like he told people that it's okay for... A forty-year-old dude to try and hit on a nine-year-old or something. Yeah, man. So I I would say that Spotify should absolutely do an investigation mm -hmm. uh, on him. Find you know as much information as possible. Right. Um. But am I going to Say I won't listen to any artist that has their songs on Spotify now. Right. right. Well, obviously no. Right. Like I, they didn't. What are they supposed to do? Right. Like, yes, you could take your music off Spotify and like all this other stuff. But at a certain point, like you, it's the trickle downs too much. I, I actually investigated this concept even in the investing space. Like if you, if you really wanted to like say that. You can't spend your money anywhere with anybody that's doing anything. Like you, hey, I wouldn't pay taxes right. if that were the case. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, like you know, Jesus said, "Give give to Caesar what Caesar." Mm -hmm. So obviously, um, for Christians at least, mm -hmm. and you can follow the train of, of thinking if you're not Christian. You can't control what everybody does right. with, with their money and with their words and, and everything else. So. Jesus knew that the, the government was very corrupt. But right. at the same time, you can't control everything somebody does. Um, that's that's you. That, that's not being benevolent. Mm -hmm. Like people think they're doing some social justice cause or something. You know, you're not. Right. Uh, you're trying to control everything somebody else does. Mm -hmm. Facts. Not even God does that. Right. He, he doesn't control what you do. You still have free will. Mm -hmm. So. Now, there are consequences to things you do, mm -hmm. um, natural consequences to things you do, which one would be like if Joe Rogan were um, you know, out of shape or something, or if he were high risk and he caught COVID and didn't have the vaccine, he could have gotten sick. Right. Um, now, he didn't right. in, in his case. He you know, bounced back pretty quickly. Um, it's almost like people were mad about that, too. They want you to get more sick than, than you got. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, that's it for it, man. Yeah. You guys uh, just think about things. Don't react to them. Yeah. 